Good evening, mortals. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Fallout, the new newest of Vegases. We are gonna... Oh, God, I hit the wrong button. We are gonna get started today, and this is, this is gonna be a time. So, my plan for this playthrough, I'm going to build the character the way I want, but the major decisions we are going to collaborate on. So, I'm not necessarily going to let you ruin the playthrough, but I will listen to what you have to say. So, if you could form an orderly line, those who want NCR on one side, those who want Caesar's Legion on another, and those who want me to use the robot to take over the world, please line up in the middle. At any rate, let's get started, shall we? You and I always say I need to get shot in the head. That's what I need. Anyway. I have no control over the volume in cutscenes, as I often do. like all the time when atomic fire consumed the earth those who survived did so in great underground vaults when they opened their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies establishing villages forming tribes as decades passed what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic dedicated President to old Tandy. world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. It's pronounced Mojave, actually. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn. Oh no. For the worse. But I like, I, I like simple delivery jobs. Three Got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You 
You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. Uh-oh. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. now skipping that because it's super loud but yes welcome to new vegas we have a traumatic head wound uh but we're alive technically okay yes thank you okay yeah great good uh, cool very good uh okay jesus you're awake how about that you're awake they caught you trying to cross the border whoa easy there You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. Okay, hello. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh, yes. My name is obviously, uh... There we go. Perfect. Uh... I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Hey, Doc. Welcome to Good Springs. Oh, thanks. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. He had to go rooting around in my you. noggin. That must have been very you easy. Tell me if I well, there's the just noggin nothing in here. Well, no problem. All right. I'm... I <laughs> Is it everything you wanted, Scald? I hope you enjoy. All right, male, sure. Uh, I am as pale as possible, and preset. Uh, mm, I really don't care. Uh, okay, next. Uh, oh wait, uh, nope. Hairstyle. No, where is it? Where is it? No, that's balding. I don't need balding. I need bald. I guess buzzsaw is the closest. Okay. Uh, facial hair. Rough beard. Beat Nick goatee. Survival survivalist. Sure. And uh, hair color will be uh, the yeah. Fuck that. Done. Yep. Right Need anyway. to be the greatest per pasty time. nerd ever. Oh, I'm okay. sorry, bud. I didn't no see that. You in bed anymore. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I just made myself so I play it into you. <laughs> oh, God. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine. Give me, give me a kiss. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Can you guys hear him and everything? Everything sounds good on your end? Oh, it is dark. All right, let's test our vigor, shall we? So far. Yes, exactly. No matter what age you pick, you're 35, and like not a good 35. Yeah, hang on. Let me let me see. Uh, let me adjust some gamma up for you. Uh, did that? That didn't look like it did anything. That didn't look like... No, get out of here. Uh, that didn't look like it did anything at all. It's... <laughs> fractionally better, alright. Alright, let's do some vigor testing. So, uh... I have played the hell out of this game before. Uh, we are going to go over here. Do 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 do. We're gonna crank the fuck out of that. Uh, I'm out of points, but that's okay. What I'm doing is we're going to take two out of strength. We're going to take one out of endurance. We'll put uh, two in agility, and we'll put one in charisma. That should be good. I'm smart as fuck, boy. Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brain some good. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big one. 
What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Alright. I will sit in this couch. Hello. Gonna hack the planet indeed. Alright. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Dog. Blood. Uh, I mean, hang on. Uh... Cat. House. Blood. I mean, uh... Renovate. Night. Blood. I mean, uh... Captain Planet! Uh... Night means silencer. Bandit. Blood. Swiss cheese. Light. Blood. Dark. Mother. Blood. Uh, human shield is an answer here. Caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. <laughs> Black versus gay. How much everything. they sound like something you'd. First one. Conflict just ain't in my. Strongly disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Correct. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I feel called out. This is... Okay, I'm gonna put in strongly disagree here. No one... Everyone look away for a second. No one look. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Absolutely false. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Uh, yep. Sure do. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? <laughs> Tell me what you see. Uh, I see... Chemical reaction. Okay. How about this one? That is very clearly the Canadian flag. Last one. Two bears high-fiving. Oh, I forgot to install the most important mod. Ah. Uh. A be you know what? Bearded well, man. Well, that's all. I don't have nothing to compare it to, Sumi. All right, let's take a look. This is our skill. So, energy weapons, no. We are going to take guns on this one, because I love them. No explosives. We will take science. And we are also going to take... Um... Hmm. Tacos across the board. <laughs> Just call them all tacos. We'll also take speech. Because high speech is good. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. So we're kicking the nuts. To feel out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. I do actually. All right, two traits. So one of the traits we have to take: wild wasteland. We must take this. Not a question. Um. Speech, science, and guns. <laughs> the three core values of every domestic terrorist. Hey, now. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's it. That's all I had to say. It was just whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, the other one I like is... We could take fast shot. Fast shot is good. Four Eyes, Four Eyes is actually secretly a massively problematic perk. Because with Four Eyes, if you equip anything on the head slot other than glasses, you're at a penalty. That includes Power Armor. Power Armor also makes it so that you have the negative one perception. It's, uh, it's actually, it, it seems like a good one, but it's actually a huge kick of the fucking teeth. Good natured. No, I'm not that. Hot-blooded? Yeah. Uh, loose cannon. S you gain more... S you gain five points to every skill, but negative 10%. Hmm. I think we're going to take fast shot. I've never taken this trait. Let's try it. All right. I guess that about does it. Come with me. I'll see you out come with you. Alright, but you gotta pay me. Uh, yeah, so the the hot-blooded penalty is... Okay, you know what? Oh, I don't have my Pip-Boy yet. Durr. 
Uh, oh, look. Stuff. Pork and beans. Take that. Stim pack, sure. Uh, the, um, the glasses one, it's only, it's only negative one to perception, but on an energy weapons build, it's a huge problem. Huge problem. I can't see shit. There's, there is a toaster here. Oh, I need this for something later. Uh, oh, one thing I will ask you guys about. Should we do... Should we do hardcore mode? Oh, it's off. Never mind. We can't turn it on. Uh, beer? Ramen steak. Honey mesquite pods are good, and so are pinion nuts. I'm gonna leave the dirty water behind. Loot goblin simulator. Yeah, I'm just stealing all his shit. Um, I could turn on hardcore mode. How do you guys, what do you guys think? Should I? Should I not? Carton of cigarettes. Pack of cigarettes, pack of cigarettes, pack of cigarettes. No? Okay. Alright, fair enough. You guys don't want it? You don't want it. Hard mode, though. Okay. I will do one higher level. And boop. Okay. And now, where the fuck are you, Doc? Okay, one second, Doc. Just gonna finish looting your house. Stimpak, anti venom. Oh, Radex. Oh, this is all very good stuff. Not very hard, but like a semi. Oh my god. I'll take all that, actually. That's just a straight-up laser pistol right there. That's great. Medical brace. I think I need that for a specific crafting thing. Uh, that's a doctor's bag. We want that. Chemistry set. Create some stim packs. Whoops. Misclicked. Well, now I got a bunch of shit to sell. Hi. Here, these are yours was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, okay. if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They a call boy. it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. Do you? Do you? And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack of modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for your. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And anyway. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so hardcore mode, guys, is not. Uh, what you think of hardcore mode. It is, uh... <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Now look over there. <laughs> I'm just the local clutter inspector helping you to Marie Kondo your shit. That's funny. Um, so hardcore mode actually doesn't, uh, doesn't, uh, mean if you die once, you're dead for good. It means that stim packs heal over time. Uh, right away removes radiation over time. Ammunition has weight, dehydration, uh, food, and sleep are things you need to pay attention to. So, uh, I'm going to ask again, do people th want hardcore mode enabled? This means I have to worry about food and water and stuff. Yeah, it's more like survival mode. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so we got one vote for do it. I did see three votes for no before, so I'll see what, uh, if people want it. Phew. Uh, you know what? I actually do prefer to play with it, so let's do it. Okay, so now I have to worry about food and stuff. We're going to do a little bit of role play in this role playing game. It could suck a lot of fun out of the playthrough. It, uh, okay. Ah. Oh. Old World Blues. Uh. Lonesome Road. Honest Hearts. I think it was implemented okay. I'm fine with it. 
Alright, let's take a look here. So, first things first, uh, in my inventory, we need a weapon. Yes, I know. So we could equip the laser pistol, but, and hear me out here, 9mm pistol. Yeah. Gunrunner's arsenal has been loaded. Well, I mean, the good news is, if it, uh, what was the run button? Is there not a run button? Yeah, this municipality sucks dick. Dead money has been loaded. Um, the good news is, I can just turn it off if, uh, if I don't like it. So, there is that. Where am I going? I feel like... The oh yeah! The school! Right. I was like, I've played this game enough times that, like, I know the early game really well. And I was like, I know there's a reason I go this way first. And it's because of this school here. There's some bugs in here we gotta kill. Walk like a pleb. That's what I'm doing. Bang! Fuck your bug. Get shit on. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, fuck you. Eat farts. There we go. You always made a killing because you'd hoard ammo only use a select few calibers. So, like, you would sell your ammo? Is that what you're saying? Oh god, that's bad. Ooh, foot locker. I uh, don't really care about any of that. What about this toolbox? Don't care about that either. Let's do some hacking. Do you guys know the secret of hacking? There is a way to do a thing. Allowance replenished. Dud removed. Dud removed. Especially if you get the perk where you get significantly more ammo and containers. I mean, yeah, definitely. That's one you should take kind of regardless because you're always going to need ammo. Um, okay, so I'm thinking it might be massive. I'm very smart. That wasn't at all luck. Ooh, bobby pin. Uh, all of that is very good. We will take it. Give me all your legs. Give me your fucking legs. And your eggs. I'll take your legs and your eggs. <laughs> I don't want a baseball glove, though. You can keep that. We know it's an RPG because you're actually intelligent in this. <laughs> Ow, my bee wings. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, T. Also, hey, T, good to see you. Uh, what was the reason I was supposed to come in here? There was something... Something specific that I'm in here for, right? But what was it? To get smart? Well... Mission fail. We'll get him next time. Salesman Weekly. Alright, well, I think that's it. Yeet! Okay. I could really use something to repair my gun with. Aren't you... Honey mesquite? No. Alright, Scald. I'll take your word for it. I'll trust you implicitly. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll just trust Scald. Whoops. Uh. Thanks for the stolen corn. Appreciate it. I didn't think about that. My bad. 
You never played New Vegas, Blackthorn? Uh, oh. This is the best one. <laughs> uh, for a lot of reasons, this is the best one. Uh, not the least of which is... It's, um... It asks real questions that there aren't really good answers to. Uh, for example... Okay, uh, spoiler for a later quest. Um, imagine, if you will... Actually, you know what? I'll just show you the quest later. But you'll, you'll see. You'll see. Okay, I gotta go over here. Uh, no, no. I didn't mean to break in. Hey, Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? What, do, what does it take to make you into difficult Pete? The one in the fantasy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The okay. man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Uh... Sorry, uh, sir, I'm very distracted by the fact that you look like, um, uh, someone melted, a uh, Ken doll, and it's... Okay, goodbye! Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't Three bite unless I tell her to. Um, I think Three was okay. It was a fun game. But Fallout New Vegas t improved on it in literally every way. And it told a way more compelling story. Like, it's not even close. You're not even the main character in Fallout 3. In Fallout New Vegas, the, the story and plot revolves around you from the second you get shot in the fucking head to the end. Uh, it's really good. Also, there's a lot of very subtle digs at Fallout 3 in this game. I'll point them out when we see them. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. I don't need that. I need to get a brim. Can you suggest sure a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. <laughs> well, howdy, you partner. The see your salutes protect by the Off sheriff. Off the road, you'll Spence. probably start running into That's hostile gross. wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Okay, so here's one of the small details. She just told me, um, stick around... Stick to the road because there's hostile wildlife off the road, okay? Not in good springs, no. Most of what's in there is junk, but if you want to take a shot at it. Thank you. Uh, magazine on locks. Actually, I already cracked that oh. safe. Well, get uh, okay, bye. Hey, Cheyenne. So, ooh. I think. Oh, it's broke. Okay. Hello, settler. There's their shitter. Here's where I can steal stuff from them. Uh, turn that off, because I hate that song. Hi there. Sticking around goods. Yeah, so let's talk about the area sure. around it. Uh, what kind of creatures are around out there? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. Okay. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. Okay, thanks. Um, goodbye. And hey, chicken! So, uh, oh, right, I forgot. I can, uh... I'm hidden, and will now hack her shit. Almost correct, so it's here. Uh, disengage lock. And, oh, salesman weekly? And meeting people? Love that. 
Um, right, so the lock I disengaged was for this floor safe, which gave me a magnum, a bunch of magnum rounds, some bottle caps, some magnum cases, and some whiskey. You know what, and some beer, why not? Uh, I don't want to steal your dirty water. We'll steal your whiskey. Uh, don't worry about all this karma I'm losing. I'm sure it doesn't mean anything. Bunch of bottle cap, sure. You're an actual ba- What are you talking about? I'm not an actual bastard. Sunset sarsaparilla, love that. More of them. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, what's over here? Whiskey... Dirty water, beer, purified water. Oh, I've, I've been detected. Okay, now I'm hidden. There we go. And I think that's it. Okay, great. Good talk. Goodbye. All right, now where is... Where is the guy who dug me out of the grave that they threw me in? Well, I could go up there, but I should do that on the way out. Hmm. Oh, right! This game had the really cool modding! I forgot! I could change... Ooh, I could overcharge some energy cells. Or I could recycle some. Let's do that. Reloading bench. Uh, I could break down some stuff so I could make more stuff. But I'm good on all that. Do you know about the voice actor for Benny? What about him? Into the general store. Geckos are deadly. Uh, yeah, synthetic. Do you, I'll show you guys some geckos in a second. Hey, Chad. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty yeah, well, of I got shot in the head, so. Even got some weapon mods. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got box... Uh... Uh, you know anything about the people who attack me? Vegas type. The great cons norm. Okay, let's see what he has for sale. Because we could sell him some stuff ourselves. It's Matthew Perry, really? Never would have seen that coming. Uh. Oh yeah, we have the shotgun. I forgot about that. Let's get rid of the machete. We're not going to use it. We will also, I think it's kind of OP to start with a grenade launcher, but I guess we'll keep it because uh, I'm a streamer and therefore we'll keep it. Uh, we'll keep all that stuff. Sell the beer. We'll also sell the whiskey ice. Oh, we'll sell the psycho. We'll sell the... Uh, buff out. We'll sell that. We'll sell rebound. Probably should have That's awesome. I, I'm kind of thrilled to hear that that's who that is. That's really cool. Uh, well, some whiskey. Great. He's selling me lots of stuff. Or he's buying lots of shit from me. Take these eggs and these leggies, these cigarettes, pre-war money, carton of cigarettes. Uh, I think that's all I had. Yeah. So now what do you got for sale, buddy? He's got a bunch of ammo, bunch of stuff for a revolver, sawn off stock for a 20 gauge. Shotgun, five, five, six rounds, nine millimeter pistol. You love to see it. Might grab the pistol ammo because that's what I'm using. Um, what else should we grab? Dog tag HD chains. I don't know what that is. Fresh pair. <gasps> Why is a hardwood log $400? What the fuck? Gunrunner's Arsenal laser pistol with a laser pistol recycler. Uh, a uh, Gunrunner's Arsenal plasma pistol. 
powered fist chromed tubes. Why do you have that? The recharger rifle, that's good. That's insanely good for him to have this early. Silence 22, ooh. I actually want that immediately. Varmint rifle, scope and silencer, but you don't have a varmint rifle. All right, let's grab some 22 ammo. Oh, and a shovel. looking for just now? Am I actually stupid? Oh yeah, I need ammo. Right. Ammo. Uh, it's 9 mil we care about, right? No, that's a 22. Okay. And I'm using a 9 mil pistol. I've got 28 9 mil rounds. Uh, hmm. There's that. And we need some 22. 223, 22 long rifle, that'll do. Gotta pay him 28 bucks all totaled, but worth it. Pleasure doing business with you. Um, bum bum bum, goodbye. Grab a nuclear warhead silencer? Wait, what? I don't think he sells that for some fucking reason. Uh, he does have mute fruit and maize, so that's good. Uh, okay, so... Let's equip the shotgun, just for funsies. Yeah, I know, armor, I get it. Let's wear... The armored jumpsuit. And... Actually, let's take a look at the Silence 22 pistol. Oh, it's one of these! Okay, this isn't what I thought it was, but still, not bad. Yeah, this gun is hot garbage. But, uh... I also got this. Uh, I think we'll use this, though. Because that's cool as fuck. Uh, okay, now what do we need to do? Right, we need to find the robot. Oh, spoilers for the guy we gotta talk to, I guess. Boing, boing. I do have the aim of a well-trained well stormtrooper. When, I, when I'm using laser weapons, my aim is fucking trash. That's because I'm not trained in laser weapons, you see. Fuck you. Missed. That's okay. Thought for sure there was a sprint button. Okay, well, let's go up here and do some light grave robbing, and then, uh, and then I'll show you why you can't just, uh, okay, so. Uh, world map. So, we need to go to New Vegas, which is just right here. Look how close we are. All we need to do is cover that distance this way. The other route you could take is all the way down here, through Prim, all the way through here, all the way over here, all the way up there, and all the way over that way. Which is insane, right? No way we're going that way. So we're gonna go up here, and then we're just gonna go north. The PU-36 Impudium Modulator? The, the rabbit stole the mo What the fuck are you talking about, Synthetic? So anyway, that'd be crazy to go the long way. Why would we do such a thing? Instead, we will simply go this way. Bump, bump. Oh, it's a Marvin the Martian reference. Oh, okay. Anyway, light grave robbing. Buried with some drugs. All right, you do you, I guess. Uh, 22 long rifle rounds, nice. Me in. Another 9mm pistol. Marvin was your mom's favorite character. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll take this stuff. This guy was buried with $13. Some more rounds. Like I said, some light grave robbing. Uh, ooh. 
Good Springs Snow Globe. That's worth a lot of money to some people. Hello, Crow. Well, this guy's already got Grave Robbed. Well, that's no fair. Hello, Aki! Yes, I know you're lurking because of the club. That's fine. Enjoy your time uh, slutting it up or whatever you're doing. Uh, there was one more thing somewhere over here. Why no do thing? Oh, because I forgot to, Aki. Because me, I'm smart boy, uh, did the thing good. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Hang on, I'm just doing something to... There should be a bag somewhere over here. It's like a weapons bag or something. Where is it? Before you venture into the wasteland, nope, I'm good. Okay, so I can't find this bag, which is fine. So, New Vegas is right there, right there. It'd be much quicker to walk through this valley here and go over there. So, I'm gonna show you why that's not gonna work for us. Okay, here we go. Do 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 so we can just go through here. Oh, we're in combat. Oh, it's just some scorpions. Uh, okay. Okay. That one's big. Shit! Please don't hurt me, sir. Ow. Blech. Oh good, and the Cazadors are here too. Yay. What are you complaining about, Nevada Skies? We should be fine. Yeah, bye bye to all your organs, exactly. So there is a reason you don't go directly to New Vegas, but um, that's actually intentional. So this game, unlike, so in Fallout 3, you can pretty much travel in any direction you want and you will be fine. You'll, uh, you'll find yourself exploring and adventuring right away. In New Vegas, you can go a wrong way. This world exists kind of regardless of how cool you think you are. So if you go a way that everyone says is dangerous, it's going to be dangerous. Also, I don't think I remember this location. I have installed a few mods. Uh, thank you for the advice, Shatter. And uh, there may be some places I'm not expecting, so something to keep in mind. Organs need to be on the inside. Well, I got stabbed twice in found out that wasn't the case, so. Color is much better. I did, um, one of the mods I added was a, uh, what you call it? Take iron. Oh, it's a nine iron. Oh, okay. Uh, one of the mods I added was a texture pack, so. It is a little, uh, less harsh, yeah. Bent tin lad's life. Very good. Man, whoever lived here sure was a fucking slob. Just leaving his drugs everywhere. His harmonica. Ooh, a machete. Um, there. I've got expanded weapon mods and then a bunch of texture pack ones. And I, oh fuck, what was that? Oh, that's a scorpion. Okay, go, 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 go,
shit. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's real bad. Oh, fuck. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked, scrub. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Hey, fuck you. That, uh... That isn't something I'm supposed to be able to kill right now. What's a VATS? Oh, wait, no. This is where the weapon bag was. Okay. I do remember this. Cool. There's a single shotgun in here. And a bunch of other shit. So, this sign says, Warning Death Claws Ahead. That right there is the quarry. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's uh, literally the most dangerous place on the map. And it's right outside Good Springs. So, you know, you will fucking die if you go there. Ooh, more light grape robbing. Oh, it's empty. This one's not. 9mm pistol, a bunch of ammo for it, some bobby pins. Oh, this is all good shit. Oh, a plasma rifle? Wow. I'll take all that. And I can't move. Um, what can we drop here? Well, I can use this 9mm pistol to repair others. There we go. Uh, plasma rifle. Neat. did the stealth mission for them, and later on it was absolute ass-puckering sweaty terror. Yeah, see, that's kind of my point, is that um, the Fallout New Vegas be, uh, having places that are dangerous actually makes the game a lot more interesting. Death or glory suicide run through. The oh, hello, coy coyote. Alright, that's Give me your sweet, sweet coyote meat. Where's the other one? There he is. Nom 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 nom. Stupid coyotes. Map designers were like, hey, when, you know when players ask for an open world? Let's give them a fucking open world. Enjoy your deadly encounters five minutes in. Yeah, um, this actually makes it a much more compelling story in my opinion. Cause like, you can just run into a place you shouldn't be and die. That's that makes me feel like the world is real. Hit him <laughs> right in the head eject button. <laughs> we definitely did. And we're overloaded again. God, we sure need we need more strength. The, you know, the thing I dumped earlier? We need more of that. Um, ooh, that gives plus to an agility. I like that. Uh, this weighs quite a lot. It's also worth quite a lot. Mm. Could we get rid of? I don't need this crutch. I don't need it. I don't need this finance clipboard. I don't need this. Yeah, that's good. No one tell Levon about this. Uh. Whoops. I was gonna say just be quiet, but you know that I squeezed a round off. A little bit of a desk pop there. Uh, hey, are you a dickhead? Oh yeah, you're a powder ganger, aren't you? Never. Any lawman that comes after me. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Yeah, so the Powder Gangers are, um, kind of dickheads. <laughs> I feel like I missed something back at Good Springs. Guys, uh, is it Prim? No, it's Good Springs that I have to do the, the fucking war in, isn't it? I think it is. Let's go back to Good Springs. 
die in the game. Yeah, there's a couple things, actually. Yay, now I can fast travel. Joy. Jean skydiving. Uh, oh, there's a star bottle cap. Very nice. And a key. Empty locker. Not empty locker. Who knows? Uh, open locker. Bunch of shit that's nice. Although, I don't want the settler outfit. Because it's just too weight for... Oh. Wait a second. It's actually slightly better than mine. But I'm just going to repair mine and call it a day. Um, Silence 22, we'll repair it. And we're still over. Repair the Magnum Revolver. Um, I guess we'll just drop the uh, boxing gloves. And... Yes, I know how ammo works, thank you. Is there something else I could drop? These two tin cans. That should be good. Uh, I mean, you could tell her that, but that's, that's rude. I mean, it'll just make Lavana sad, really. drop the base. <laughs> I didn't do that. Man, I'd sure like a rifle. That would be nice. <gasps> a fridge! Suave gambler hat. I'll take that. Guy died in the fridge. He's literally blown in half. Sucks to suck, buddy. Was he trying to hide from the bombs in a fridge? That, uh, doesn't super work. Chet was a spineless douche, so I saved my game and robbed him fucking blind on my second playthrough. Which one is Chet? Chet is the, uh... Oh, fuck. It's been a hot minute since i played this game. i played a lot of it, but... Yeah, it's an Indiana Jones reference. Yeah, I did get that. Oh, the general store owner. Yeah, he is kind of a spineless piece of shit. But, you know, he does his best, I guess, technically. This guy's mailbox is empty. Can't steal from you if you don't, if you don't put things in your mailbox, guys. Come on. Get with the program. Hello, Straz. How's it going, my friend? There he is! Okay. Meet the man who pulled me out of my grave. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? He is a robot cowboy. Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How'd you happen to find I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up at the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Well, goody. Thank you, Victor. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town not be able to help you out with that. How'd you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, hey. it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's uh, as fine a place to settle as any. Do you look at it, the, the screen or the circle? Hmm. I'm a secure Tron. Robco security I mean, model make sure you don't do anything rude. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Alright, thanks, Victor. Happy trip. Goodbye. Now we're gonna go see the dock again, because I think the dock is actually the one who gives you the quest. So let's see here. Where are you, dock? Oh, wow. 
He improved the lighting in his house. We can see again. Where are you, Doc? Is this 10 to 15 years ago like a normal person? Or a Jordan 10 to 15 years? What do you mean a Jordan 10 to 15 years? Uh, there are no robot sharks in this game, I'm pretty sure. There are robot dogs later, though. So, you know, you have that look to look forward to. Ooh, I'm up. Oh, there you are. Hey, I was just stealing from you. Hope you don't mind. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Um... Any medical supplies? I'm gonna sell you some shit, Doc. Specifically, as much as it will hurt someone in my chat, we're selling the plasma weapons. I'm also gonna sell the single shotgun, because we got a better one, and the weather 10 mil. Right? Yeah. We need... Basically, we need more space. Um, I'm gonna sell the metal armor, the tribal armor, the Vault 21 jumpsuit, and the lightweight leather. And then I will also sell the jet. Laser weapons are better than actual guns. Hmm. Death claws are just land sharks. They really are, though. That's actually facts. Uh, death claws will rip you to fucking pieces. Much like a shark would on land. Okay, got all that. I'm gonna sell the rat scorpion poison gland because I'm not gonna need it for a long time. And by the time I do, I can get lots of rat scorpions, so fucking that's fine. I'm gonna sell some f flamer fuel. I'm not gonna need that. And as much as it may hurt people in my chat, uh, I'm also gonna sell all my energy cells and microfusion cells. Because I need uh, need the space in my inventory. I'm gonna buy some stims. Wow, I could buy a lot of stims off them. Okay. Uh, doctor's bag? Great. Okay, uh, let's... There. Rad scorpions are actually... They do swim through land and everything, yep. <laughs> Nick, laser weapons do indeed look cool. You got me there. Tell me about yourself, well, Doc. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. Great. You had something taken Well, from you. ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. Okay. Uh, what's the town called? Well, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We okay. don't go looking for trouble. Oh, what else can you tell me? Well, there's a general store just up the road. If you're looking to wet your whistle, just past Chet's is the... Other... Um... Do you know anything about the man I that shot me? I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around. Okay. Your best bet would probably... Okay, he's not going to give me the quest. Uh, I love the... <laughs> All rats are baby sharks. I love the debates going on in the fucking... In the chat. I look over and I just see... Laser guns! Regular guns! Laser guns! Regular guns! Yeah, just ask chat if you... If you hate having money and really want garbage cluttering up your inventory... Chet is your man. Uh, that's a submachine gun. 
let's repair it. All right, got myself a submachine gun. So um, gonna go ahead and equip a nine millimeter submachine gun. That's like a nine millimeter pistol, except it's a submachine gun. Ophthalmoscope? The fuck is an ophthalmoscope? Ooh, today's physician. <gasps> um, hey guys, look over there. Required action, destroy your SMG. I mean, I could, but it'd be very rude. This doctor was packing heat, hell yeah. Yeah, it's a grease gun, exactly. Did you literally backstab Chet? Like, actually, with a knife and everything? Uh, do you have the quest? Howdy. Why do you call you Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy. Alright. Uh, what's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Alrighty. Goodbye. Uh, quest is in the gas station? All right, let's go to the gas station then. I've got to talk to a man. Special combat knives and ventilated him. Oh my god. Well, yeah, that did, that did solve him for sure. Sunset sarsaparilla vending machine. Give me that sunset sarsaparilla. Right, I need a key to get in there. Okay, so there's someone in town we gotta talk to first. I think it might be Doc Mitchell. But let's talk to everyone. The barkeeper. Alright, well that's who I was going to talk to next, so, you know. We're on the same page. Sunset Sarsaparilla! Gotta love that Sunset Sarsaparilla. That's really hard to say, just so you guys know. Like, quickly? Hard to say. Uh, where are you at? Hey there. Hey there. Hey. Hi there. Sticking around. Uh, what do you do around here? I hunt geckos, mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of red scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Huh. Sunset Sarsaparilla, Sunset Sarsaparilla, Sunset Sarsaparilla? Like that? You sound like Mark Zuckerberg saying Sweet Baby Ray's constantly to sound more human? What the fuck? Sunset Sarsaparilla. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Great, I outside. actually Behind don't want room. to do the tutorial, but I guess we're gonna do it anyway. Uh, okay. I stole the thing from her. Okay, what do you want? Oh, that's true. She does give you a free varmint rifle. Which I do love. How many caps I got? 158. Okay. Hi. Give me that rifle. Now, see the stuff. Varmint rifle. Throw bottles on the fence there. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Look down there. Start crouching down and staying still. Next shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Actually, I did. What, they uh, killed my mother. I gotta mother go chase geckos away from father. a water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come? End tutorial. Suit yourself. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Ca She'd be there we go. if I didn't ask you to poke your head in. Heavily damage and crappy rate of fire. Oh, but we can upgrade it to have 
piddly damage plus one and crappy rate of fire plus two. Coker eat a metal. I've never had a cosmic knife. Um, what else is here? Fire gecko hide belt? What does that do? Is it just worth more? 20 gauge sawn off stock, baseball bat, gecko screen grip, bladed gauntlet tempered blade, breakdown universal sharpener, bumper sword, gecko skin grip, bunch of nails, cattle prod silicone grip. There's a lot of stuff in there. Intimacy added, favorite enemy, sarsaparilla bottle. Yeah, exactly. Hey. You looking to buy some supplies? Actually, yes. Uh, specifically, sir, I am looking for varmint rifle stuff. Uh, I can't afford either of these. Uh, how do I earn that money? So let's see here. I could sell... Wait, actually, better idea. Goodbye. Date. Allow me to eat this magazine first. Uh, where is it? It's not Lad's Life. It's not meeting people. It's Salesman Weekly. Hello. You looking to buy some supply? Now tell me what you have for sale. Much cheaper. All right. And we'll make more money by selling to him, so that's great. Um, as much as I like the pistol, I have a submachine gun now. Um, I never use the binoculars, so I'm getting rid of them. I'm not going to use a machete. Uh, throwing spears are a meme, but I think I'm going to sell those too. here. Sell the fleet venoms. Don't need those. Mm. I'm gonna sell a couple super stim packs here. Actually, all of them. That'll get us a bunch of money, which is useful. I also never use stealth boys. I always just stealth like a dumbass, so there. That's good. Another satisfied customer. Goodbye. Date. Now let's put that shit on our weapon. So now, it looks like this. Go see Trudy. Trudy? Was it Trudy? I don't know. Let's go see that lady. Hey. Get my friends, and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not gonna buy something, get out. Goodbye! I seemed aggressive. Uh, reverse pickpocketing mines into people's pants does sound fun. Hi, Mar! How's it going? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Well, thank you. Hey, I leveled up. I heard you were having an argument. Looks what like was our that about? little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Uh-oh. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. Okay. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. But they did. Where is he now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Okay, why not just kill Cobb and be done you with it? You mean them? murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Mar, is it cutscenes or cutscene pod? 
It's cut scenes. There you go. How's it going, Mar? Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, what are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Okay. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the Powder Gangers with him. Okay. Powder Gangers? What's that? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Wait, it's not the best idea? It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Oh, I was just about to give them a bunch of explosives. Okay. Um, there's one other thing that I'm looking for. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Uh, okay. Uh, I need to track down the people Not who much, shot me other in the than goddamn head. a bunch head. of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it hasn't been working since. Oh. Did they say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If uh... that's the case... I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Quarry Junction is the worst that place. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. <laughs> Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Uh, okay. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. The fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Which is exactly what they did. Uh, okay, so... Want me to take a look at your broken sure. radio? The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Um, all right, goodbye. That's all I really needed to know. We leveled up. So we're going to take 15 skill points. Okay, we'll go up to 40 in guns. We'll go up to 45 in science. I'm going to take repair to 29, I guess. And then, uh, confirmed bachelor means you do more damage to men. Lady killer, you do more damage to women. Uh, swift learner, you get more XP, but this is actually a trap because you will get it regardless. Uh, I think we take rapid reload. Faster reloads is useful no matter who you are. Confirmed bachelor does also make you gay. Uh, repair the radio. Always go higher in guns. Everyone knows that. Exactly, Mar. Feeling thirsty? Uh, fix your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some ca- Thanks for the caps. You're welcome. Uh, goodbye. So... Howdy. Now, we go talk to the lad in the gas station and convince him to let us help him. And then, we go talk to everyone else in town. What are you doing? You look... Okay. Just standing out in his front lawn in the middle of the night. I love that I've basically tricked out, like, a fucking kid's gun. The varmint rifle is not exactly high class. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hi. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Uh, I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. No problem, Got off I to shoot a bad in the start. head. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? Uh, what are the rules of Caravan? It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. The goal is to create Caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more st It's why you won't okay. see Caravan in any casino. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specific- uh Oh, so okie dokie. Uh, I don't have time for a game right now. You know there's a man named Joe Cobb yeah. looking for you? He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I can handle all of them in a gunfight. Well, I have good news for you. 
Uh, what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around and see what I can do, okay? Start with Sunny Smiles. She's Thought been friendlier than most no, around here. Uh, that is true, Mar. It doesn't matter how big your gun is if uh, you use it on the soft, weak parts of the person. You know, like their ego. What's in this sack? Food. Ginger! Hey, how's it going, my man? Good to see you. How are you doing, Ginger? I'm very excited. Uh, you uh, had a very good stream last night. Everyone knows the ego is stored in the balls. Oh, God. I'm pretty sure that's not where the ego is stored, but if you shot someone there, that would probably work pretty good. Uh, was there something back here? Wow, he's very trusting. He just went straight to sleep. <laughs> Apparently scald like that. Uh, take the fission battery and these holes. It's purified water. All right, goodbye. God, it's dark out. Wow, that light doesn't help much. That's a general store. <laughs> Watching me be a fucking nerd. Hello. Rude. Oh, hi, Trudy. Feeling thirsty? Um. Okay, goodbye. Hey, Easy Pete. Howdy. What do you know about Joe Cobb? Bad trouble. Yeah, that that's helpful. Welcome. Okay, cool. Good talk. Uh, goodbye. That's what I said, Ginger. I was like, what What would it take to make you difficult, Pete? Hi there. Hard Sticking mode, Sticking around Pete. Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah, I'm gonna take on Ringo and the Powder Gangers. You wanna help? Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after Flesh us and eventually. <laughs> However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, okay. some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with that. Okay. Uh, let's get going. Let's convince people to help us. Do you know how to make them hard, Pete? I, push and rope, Pete. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Viagra is the only way that's going to get solved. That that does feel right. Um, okay, everyone's gone to bed, so I will simply stand in place for, say... Uh, 12 hours. You start flirting with it. Yeah, I go up and seduce him. His name changes to Easy John. <laughs> Hello there. It's good oh, hi. to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider I did. Oh my Name's god. Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and ah, oh, screw this. Line just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit. Now. I literally just Why didn't you save me from getting shot in the head then, huh? Why were you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so... Okay, what's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Okay. You collect them too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. Oh my God. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. So are you going to attack me? Is that what's going to happen? Uh, oh God, I should read chat. Uh, 
Viagra may result in amorous Pete. Okay. Uh, slowly it changes back. Goes from hard to semi. What the fuck? How do I get to the bar from here? It becomes hard Pete. Oh, no. All over the place. <laughs> You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now. But somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Huh. Some say it's old Festus who does it. half mass someone Pete. will finally collect semi enough cash for the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. Okay, thanks for the info. I'll be no going. problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch Chode out for Pete. a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. All right, watch out for Alan Marks. Half me, Pete. Oh no, this guy just walked up to me at four in the fucking morning. By the way. Uh, possibly provocated Pete. Good work. Anyway, hey Judy. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? Hell yeah. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. You should help me take down some of the power gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason. I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. Well, While thank everyone you. everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. All right. Uh, goodbye. Small teats, Pete. Hey, Hobbs, good to see you. Uh... He did seem to have a crush on me, yes. Uh, unfortunately, he ran away. Otherwise, I would have, you know. It's a militia. You looking to buy some supplies? Quite the opposite. Need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Okay. Uh, so I need right. ten more barter for this. I think... I think I can do this. Uh, salesman Weekly. Hi. You looking to buy some supplies? Quite the opposite. This again? Let them take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be you much better off. off. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Yeah, of course. I totally understand. I hope you get shot. Goodbye. Um, and then the next one... <laughs> no one else is a thousand cap investment? Not getting punched in your tiny soft balls. Do, what, uh... Howdy. Hey there. I hear you've got dynamite. Would be help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Wanna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safe in that way. Uh, how hard can it be? Just light them up and throw. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Blow your neighbor up. Blow the whole town up. Alright, goodbye. So now... Do I have a Get Good at Exploding Things magazine? don't think so. So unfortunately, we're going to have to go without his help. Yeah. Because we don't have a explosion one. Yeah, nope. Sure don't. Alright. So... Data. Weasts. Uh, Alright. Medical. This is platonic, but probably still has a sneaky boner, Pete. What the fuck? Um, you know what, Hobbs? As someone who drives safely myself, um, I, I am defending you. Right here, right now. Everyone can see it. I'm defending Hobez. Hello. How are you holding up? Good for the moment. Anyway, we're about to be attacked. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. You have and a bum my leg? My are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Thanks, buddy. Bye. 
Exactly. Safety is no laughing matter. The most dangerous thing most people in our society do in a, any given day is drive a car. Bum leg for soup? <laughs> what the actual fuck does that mean? If I bunny hop enough, do I achieve nirvana? Um... Now what do I have to do? Wait, can I get Victor to help? Hang on. Hey Victor, you want to help with a good old-fashioned gunfight? Howdy, partner. You decent in a fight? I can use more firepower if Trouble you have any. With rustlers, huh? Count me in, partner. Those varmints will be running home with their tails between their legs soon enough. Nice. T, why? Yeah, actually, that's a good point, Ginger. How come you have a bum leg? Aren't you a doctor? Shouldn't you be the only person without a bum leg, if anything? I now have a concern about your efficiency as a doctor. Efficiency? Efficacy? Efficacy. That's what it is. Hey. So what's going on? Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Let's do it. All right, I'm ready. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. Did you just teleport in here? How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Let's do it. I'll be set up near the store. Oh, thank you, Mr. Yeet. Appreciate it. Uh, all right, where are they at? Is that one of them? No, that looks like my guy. doctor who treats himself as a fool for a patient. That's a lawyer that represents himself as a fool for a client. It's not quite the same. Uh, can I play a song in chat? I don't think we have a thing for that. Not, you know, terrible. Okay, you know what? You know what? Boom! Oh no. Oh no, Hobbs. Hobbs? Damn! 11 months, holy shit. The powder gangers don't like me. Aw, oh, no, not the powder gangers. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Well, you're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. Have a good one. I forgot about the uh, grenade launcher that I had this whole time. Anyway, back to the garbage rifle. Hey, Joe Cobb, give me your shit. Uh, stealth boy, sure. Let me see your friends here. This guy is a baseball bat, don't care about that. This guy is a cleaver, okay. I think that's that quest done, right? Yeah. So now we have to go to Prim. This place is done. Never trust a skinny chef. I mean, maybe he's just really big into uh, physical fitness. Or it's an optometrist that squints to see things at long distance. Actually, that one I understand a lot better because we don't really... Well... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I had dehydration sickness, apparently. Which is a funny way of saying me thirsty. I think the sun, the sky looks much better. Aside from that, that looks like screen tearing to me, but. 
Um, if I see a dentist without teeth, I will have a problem with that, actually. That one, yeah, 100%. Can I drink this? Yes, no rads even. Oh, that's Blue Moon. Oh, that's really cool. Thanks, Mr. Yeet. Appreciate it. I'm gonna drink this red thing now. A proctologist without butt. If your proctologist doesn't have a butt, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I can sing it, but, uh, not for fear of copyright, so, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pass. Thanks, though, bud. <laughs> uh, I'll have you know I have a beautiful singing voice. Trust me. For sure, I do. A hundred percent. Ask no follow-up questions, and we'll be fine. Give me this root. These are good for a healing item, I think. At least I recall them being good for a healing item. Oh, he's not dead. Look at it. Look at him go. Nails into chalkboard against in a room with perfect acoustics. Oh, why are you so rude? Hey, yo, how's it going? Boom! Can help me play? I mean, I've played the hell out of this game in the past. I don't, I don't really need too much help with it, but uh, you're welcome to drop some neat things down if you want. He did look so happy until I, you know, shot him. Oh, someone else is here now. Where are you at? I know there's something in the hills around here somewhere. It might be over here. Fuck, miss. Oh, shit. Hi. Get out of here. Give me all your meat. In Prim, go to the museum? No, oh, fuck, here he comes. Alright, that's time. Your head is gonna get for shooting. I crippled his head. That's funny, that's what happened to me at the start of the game. Alright, we need a different weapon. Let's see here. I'll start taking my shotgun. Hard beat? <laughs> oh my god. Give me all your meat, says hard beat. What's up? Oh, there's so many of them. Ow. Oh god. Shit. Fuck out of here. I knew I saw another one over here. Yep, there he is. Fuck. Boom! Yes, I do have all the DLC. I've got, uh... Well, all of it. And I have done it all before. Okay, we get it. I blew his head off. Oh my god, I shot again because I was in bats. Or the slow-mo or whatever. That's not bats, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I love Fallout New Vegas. I, um, I played it a lot when I was, oh, thank you. When I was a bit younger. Wow, that guy looks pretty dead. Uh huh. Very cool. You guys look like you had a good old time here. Um, and I thought I'd give it another, I'd do another playthrough here on the channel just to, like, you know, show it off and, and bring everyone in. Disarm. Why do they have bowling balls up here? 
Okay, give me all your stuff. Your first follow was four. Um, in my opinion, uh, Fallout New Vegas is the best one if you like the original Fallouts, uh, because it is uh, kind of complex. I'll take all that, but I'm overweight, so let's do some repairs to get some stuff out of the way. Apparel, hmm. maybe? Oh yeah, they gave me leather armor that I don't want. I'm gonna take... That's eight. I'm gonna take that and drop that. And I will also wear the gambler's hat. And then I have just too much shit. I have just too much shit. Uh, what else can I drop? You know what? I don't need the shovel anymore. And we'll also drop... I do like the 10 millimeter pistol. But we'll drop it. There we go. New Vegas is your favorite? Okay, that's cool. Um, I gotta go get rid of this armor. This armor is a problem. Uh, oh. Hey, Blackthorn. Yeah. This is a mature stream, buddy. I, I'm sorry to do this to you, but, uh... Yeah. Thank you, Blackthorn. Uh, good catch, buddy. Sorry, little guy. I feel bad for that, because, like... It's just a kid. But, uh... Yeah, I swear a lot. I, I make dirty jokes. This is not a place for a kid. Yeah, thanks, Blackthorn. And, uh, sorry, Mr. Yeet. Ugh. That makes me feel uncomfortable. But anyway, let's keep going. Yeet! Uh, okay. Now we go on to print. No, not a place for miners. Agreed. Good call, good catch. Yes, you can say bad words again, Hobbs. Like, Jorb. <laughs> or, Butthead. Boothied. Sweet meat Pete is in the street. Yeah. What? Jesus, Hobbs! Whoa! Um... Hobbs, this is your official warning. If you say that again, I will. Yeah, that was that was a really good catch, Blackthorn. Ten out of ten, good work. Okay, there's more of them down there. You know what we're gonna use against them? We're gonna use uh. Missed. Can anyone say overkill? And now we'll switch to the Magnum. Look at this dinky little gun. And we're overweight again. God damn it. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop the armor. Whoa, Ginger! Oh my god! Guys! I mean, this is a mature stream, but... That does imply some maturity. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 40 millimeter catch, exactly. Hey, some lightly irradiated water. Delicious. Ow. Didn't set the entire settlement up in nuclear flame, so underkill. All right, fair enough. Um. Oh God! Reload fast. Got him. 
Uh, Mar, the reason I don't have a no cursing channel points option is because I would never be able to fucking do it. Not even, not for five minutes, not for one minute. It's not a thing that I am capable of. At all. Oh, for the chat? <laughs> Man, imagine if I could do things to the chat. The banned words, so the banned words option was fine. The problem is it interrupted my ability to entertain, so it had to go. Oh, there's a thing over here. This is a mesquite, right? No, it's jalapeno. I love jalapeno. How am I still in combat? What's around here? Negative thoughts? There we go. Healing powder, baby. That's what it was. Any more Xander root now. Is that a cave? No, it's not. Okay. Briefly excited. You should throw pennies at Jorb every time he doesn't swear for five minutes. <laughs> Fifteen years later. Any day, any minute now, I gotta throw a penny at him. There's a Malkavian who's hidden in a... Wait, there's... There's no Malkavians in this game. That would be crazy. Hi there. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Wherever I want. Prim is off limits. Fuck your Prim. What's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. You'd be safer sucking my... Uh, shouldn't you be protecting the town? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Why can't you protect them? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You okay. should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the over if you don't want to get shot. Uh, yeah, yeah that, there's many reasons this is an 18 plus tree, but that is definitely one of them. Okay, so we should stay on the west part of the overpass if we don't want to get shot. But hear me out here. What if we just go in and kill everyone? What if we just simply walk in there, waltz on in there? Um, yes, Nick, you, they still would. Nuclear fire kills vampires just as much as regular fire does. And while they would have an easier time and may even establish beefs, they would still have a problem with, uh, with the mortals finding out. Yeah, even ghouls try to keep them themselves. That's actually a good point. And they're not even monsters, really. They're just victims of nuclear radiation. Um, how do we get in there without going through the quest? Uh, thank you, Hobbs. I, um, I studied. I'm actually not going to talk about that on stream. Never mind. Whee! Up we go. Oh, fuck you, invisible wall. Oh, you dirty dick. You dirty binch. There's an invisible wall here that's preventing me from going up. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, Ginger, that is indeed a roller coaster. Are you a fallout ghoul or a vampire ghoul? Ugh, both. Smooth-skinned mortal. <laughs> uh, I'm... The real, the real question about vampires in this world is, uh, yeah... Oh god, a Bruja armed with a fat man. Oh fuck. Huh? Who said that? Hello? Ah! Ooh! Ah! Who's shooting? Ow! Dick! Oh, you are. I love that I took a sip from my canteen for this. 
All ghouls are not for Oh my god. That is so not okay. You can't say that. That's horrible. Can I not hit him? No, I can't. Okay, good. That sweet meat is a vampire. He just goes off that fire. Anyway, that guy's dead. One down, like 15 more to go. And back to the revolver. We're running out of ammo for a lot of stuff. Imagine finding about... Yeah, the apocalypse happens, and then on top of that, the fucking... You find out vampires are real. Ugh, that would be terrible. Fortunately, they, that can't happen in our world, because vampires are not real. I am verbally telling you that vampires are not real in our world. Uh, Scald, is that an invitation? Oh my god, the invisible walls are gonna kill me. Alright, sequence break. Let's do it. Yeet. No, I'll fuck you, game. Alright, fine. I mean... That just sounds like an easier game of Masquerade to me. The thing about um, Fallout is that radiation is a constant and ever-present danger. And uh, vampires actually don't really give a fuck about it. Because they don't have DNA to change. Hey, anybody want to catch some bullets? I have some bullets for you. J Jesus, Blackthorn, what the fuck? Your mom's a constant, never present date. Oh yeah, I should worry about hell, shouldn't I? Actually, do what I should do. That. Uh... That. 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 Uh, where are you at, Stimpak? Sure. Let me in. Hello? Anybody home? Nobody home. He has some grilled mantis, though. I'm gonna eat his grilled mantis. That sounds delicious. Um. How are my stats doing? Uh, good on water. Could use some sleep. Got a couple rads. There's a harmonica. Purified water. Don't mind if I do. Who keeps a chessboard under their bed? What a nerd. Ah, yes. The lockpicking minigame. Uh, I'll take that. Sure. I'll take that. Sure. Yeah, sure. I'll take it all. Hey, we leveled up. Alright. More guns, please. More guns, more science, and more speak. There we go. Consent is key, but chastity's low. What the fuck? What are you even. Oh. Repair and caravan shotgun repair with this one. There we go. Ooh, a paint gun. What's in the mail? Nothing. Who's Chastity? I don't know. I hear about her a lot, but I, I've never met her personally. She peels the top. Oh, right! I forgot about uh, uh, the... Um, <clears throat> We are definitely doing the Atomic Wrangler storyline. 
I totally forgot about that. Uh, and that's gonna be hilarious. Mar, did you just join the Discord? <gasps> that's exciting. Welcome. Um, Mrs. McBain, Sheriff McBain. Okay, they're doing great. What do you guys keep under your bed? A cowboy repeater. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, that is fucking mint. Uh, okay, I believe I have a weapon repair kit. <laughs> All good, Mar. I, I'm just happy you're there. Uh, okay. So, this is one of my favorite guns. It's just such a good rifle for early game. My right the one downside is that Fuck you! Uh I have bad accuracy. E farts! Yeah, Daka Daka indeed. Give me these rounds. Give me these rounds. Bottle caps, we'll take those. Dinamite, don't mind if I dinamite do. Um, it's a great rifle. The only problem is I took a trait that makes my accuracy dog shit. So, write that down. <laughs> oh, God. So, rapid fire guns are going to be my friend. Ever heard of a cover? Yeah, I have heard of a cover. That's when you uh, sing a song, right? But like some one that someone else made? That carton of cigarettes was apparently too heavy for me. Um, okay. God, I need more strength. Desperately. Well, these gecko hides are quite heavy. I'll drop three of them. That should do me. All right. Put the gun away so I travel a little faster. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. I have an idea. Catch! I missed. Stop shooting at me. It's very rude in my culture. Missed. Ugh. Missed. Ugh. Got him! I'm not gonna look like Swiss cheese. I'm gonna taste like Swiss cheese. Sure. You thought I looked back and killed me. Full disclosure, full disclosure, Shatter, I also thought that. Alright, let's go into the lucky casino. This place seems safe. Because I'm inside a building, which means I'm safe. Oh. Oh, fuck you, sir. Boom! Gonna have more holes than the GOP legal defense. Ooh. Fucking oof. Oh, hey, there's a bit of a convict here. I'll just take all your shit. I believe there's a mine back here somewhere. No, but there's a hard locked door. Nice. And an easy locked terminal. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm super good at hacking. Boop, 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 boop. 
Let's find a couple of those things. Uh, you know what? Beeping. Uh, nope. So, feeling? Mm, nope. So... Uh... Healing? There it is. Follow Vancouver would just be irradiated moose syrup and free health kits everywhere. Um... Hogs, a radiated moose would be fucking horrifying. Uh, those kill vehicles. Like, right now, they murder cars. There's a harmonica here, so that's good. Uh, Bison Steve maintenance key, okay. Moose are apex pr They're not, okay. Moose are not apex predators, but they are straight up one of the most dangerous things in fucking Canada. Uh, and potentially the world. Gecko steak? Sure. Grilled mat squirrels too. Ooh. Moose semi-truck engine block on stilts. Yeah, literally. Um, let me eat the squirrels too. And I'll also drink a water. Can't open that safe. Uh, oh. There's a pistol, some medics, some bottle caps. Hey! hey. <laughs> that guy's like, hey! I just turn around and dump four rounds into his body. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We need more lockpicking skill to open that safe. Can't see shit. Oh yeah, where's that guy I just killed? Here he is. Bobby pin, bottle cap. I didn't mean to take everything. Fuck! Uh, take the pistol back. Uh, take your Merc stuff back. Uh, shit. Take your turpentine. I'll put the pilot light and surgical tubing away for now. Uh, uh, okay, that should be good. If a moose fought a polar bear, who would win? Uh, ooh. I actually think polar bear. I think you guys are underestimating how powerful a polar bear is. Because they are insanely so. Uh, okay, so I'm at a 357 rounds. We'll start using the DACA. I have multiple DACAs for someone. Fuck, it is dark in here. Couple bottle caps, couple more bottle caps. This cash register has some pre-war money and some bottle caps. I literally picked up a paperweight. I don't want a fucking paperweight. It's, it's, it's just a weight. Why would I want that? Uh, okay, what else is in here? There's a floor safe. A tail of a junk town jerky vendor. That's really good, actually. Here's my money. Can't get in there. Empty cash register. New cola, some sets, mass barilla, pre-war books. No one cares about pre-war books. Those are super useful in Fallout 3, though. You should collect as many as you can. It's kind of like a mugger with a knife versus a WWE champ. The polar bear will get some nasty cuts in it, but moose will knock it the fuck out. Um, so, the moose will do damage. Don't get me wrong. But a, I think you're underestimating how big a polar bear is. Um, they are not small creatures. They're about the size of a moose, and they also kill a lot of people. And, oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Thanks for announcing your presence. That's a good idea, Hobbs. Let's settle this like men by asking the internet. Give me these monies, all those, good. There we go. If 
polar bear not friend? Why friend shaped? Um, it is not friend shaped. It is actually, instead of friend shaped, shaped like a thing that will kill you. Oh shit. Oh, that's a rocket. Oh, oh no, it's a flamer. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. Fuck all y'all. You stay the fuck back there. Ow, 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 ow. Stop. Boom! Goodbye! Almost died, didn't die. However, the guy I was gonna save definitely did die, so... Shit! I didn't mean to grab all the stuff. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Alright, well, I can repair my varmint rifle with this one. I can drop his stuff. Um... Any garbage he just put in my inventory? Um, not really, actually. All right. Uh, ooh. Hang on a sec. Oh, that's gonna be hard for me to do, actually. It's 100% is friend-shaped. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Uh... All right, I'm gonna take all this flamer stuff. Thanks for that. I'm not taking the actual incinerator though, cause it's very heavy. It is definitely not friend shaped. All right, Deputy Beagle, thank you. Um, I'm gonna take your journal. Sorry I didn't save you. Really sorry about that. Ooh, purified what? I didn't want the gun I said. Drop that. Purified water. More nine mil rounds. Perfect. Can't move. Fuck. Grizzly bears regularly kill and eat moose. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. You love a good under moose story. Oh my god. Doctor's bag. Doctor's bag. Doctor's bag. Doctor's bag. Hey, and now we're underweight again. Uh, why am I using this gun? There's a spoon on that table. Cooked ramen there. Fuck, it is dark out. Can't see shit, Captain. Uh, both my friends jumped behind trees. I just ran down the path and it started chasing me. This dog came out of nowhere and made the moose veer off right before he got to me. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, Ginger, that would be terrifying. That would be absolutely terrifying. Getting chased by a moose, um, fucking may as well sign your will. Polar bears are cute and cuddly. Uh, no. No. No, they're not. At all. In any way, shape, or form. I don't have any 357 mag. I guess we really are kind of stuck with this, uh, with this submachine gun. Not that I'm complaining. It's uh, really cleaned up for us. Moose attack a hell of a lot more than fig fingers. Polar bear versus moose? Um, easy sweep by moose. It's not even close. To repair the elevator. Okay. If I had a bit more repair skill. So, where is... I have a thing for that. Wait, what's this do? Oh, that just straight up increases your barter. Okay, that's cool. Where's... That's locksmith's reader. Fixing things. Repair the elevator. Moose is an actual, uh... Uh, predator, that's right. Wait! Moose are racist against gingers? Hey. Then why did it go for you? I thought you were not a ginger, you swear. 
Anyone else? Wow, I really can't see shit up here. This is horrible. Ouch, fuck. A polar bear is both deadly and friend-shaped. I will give pets as I die. Uh, you will die, that's for sure. You like that? There's so many guys here! Well, that was fun. Look how many friends I made. playing on the journey. Oh, okay, that makes sense. It's a weird thing to cosplay at, but you know, you do you, boo. Uh, anything here I care about? Nope. What's in here? A delicious toilet? Uh, so fun fact, it is more common for toilets not to have any radiation in them in this game than it is for sinks. So, if you find a sink, always check the toilet if you need water. And then, drink out of the toilet, you fucking disgusting pervert. Yeah, sorry. Drink out of the toilet. Yeah, buddy. Gotta make sure you're drinking out of the toilet. All my armor is shattered. Okay, cool. I wonder why that happened. Can I drop some of uh, more gecko hides? Oh, give me these bullets, please. A bladed gauntlet, that sounds fun. Too bad I can't. And it's not worth much either. Anyone who wants to try shooting at me again? Any rude bitches around here? I can let you drink some delicious turlet water. Nope, none in here. We got some cigarettes. That's a pack of cigarettes. What was that? What was what? Did you hear something? Where are you? the porcelain throne and rate royalty doesn't get irradiated uh hmm I'm not sure that's how that works but i'm not sure how to <laughs> thank you hobbs appreciate it oh my god <laughs> i was very surprised just now <laughs> i'm gonna eat another stim pack and a pork and beans. And that was pretty funny, I agree, Skull. Thank you for the bits, guys. This is very kind of you. Uh, what else can I do here? I'm gonna have some tobacco. Tobacco too. Tobacco chew. There we go. I got it. I got there. Thank you for the gay bits. Is that you trying to play the fruit? Uh, yeah, that is actually Hobez playing the fruit. The, not the fruit, but the flute. I'm good at the English language. Some might even say I speak it a lot. Um, yeah, we just, we have too much shit. I could drop that and move. There we go. 
Yeet. Armor case. I'll take the bullets. One uwu cost 50 bits, but 25 uwus cost 100 bits versus say it live. Oh no. That I sure wish no one had figured that out. Alright, we need a shop. Real bad. Hey, I heard a guy down here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Hey, how's it going? No, Scald, no! Oh. God damn it. I think that's all of them. Four bits per... Uh, I hate that someone has managed to gamify... <laughs> it sounded like she was, like, drinking a lot of something. Oh my god. That was really funny. Those were not oo-woos. Those are something else entirely. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to do that on Twitch.tv. Uh, pre-war money, please. Toilet is irradiated. Which means the sink will be too. It did sound like gagging. Yeah, it sounded like a very specific kind of gagging. Uh, I was deeply uncomfortable by that. All right, let's go out here. Yeah, yeah, Mar, exactly. The fucking mm, face. Oh wait, no, that's a mm, face. Oh no. Okay, I think we're done in here. Anyone else want to try fucking with me? No? Good, good, good. Hello there. Oh, hello. Uh, thank you, Blackthorn. Appreciate it. Oh, Hype Train. Hey, thanks, guys. It's very kind. Thank you very much. Aw. That makes me feel happy. Gay Hype Train. Yeah. I mean, all the Hype Trains on this channel are gay. I have so many gay friends. Uh, this is where I killed a lot of people, so I gotta go this way. And then, this way? And then, this way? Oh, thank you, Hobbs. Appreciate it. Thanks for the bits. It's very kind, guys. Another gay penny? I collect those. Hello there. Ah, uh, hello! Oh, you guys are way too kind. That's very, very awesome. Thank you. Oh, thanks, guys. Okay, I can't go in here, I don't think. Wait, can I? Yeah, I can. <laughs> All right, thanks, Black. Dog. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's I'm just looking for a hell. shop. Um, I have some questions. What? What the fuck happened? Let's see. Been tough around here for a good while now. And thank you guys, it's very Worse kind. them thugs kidnapped our deputy. He started Ooh. with the breakout from the prison up the road. Oh no. First there was just a few thugs Oh no, down. they figured it out. But then they got organized. powder gangster or something. And run around. <laughs> oh my people. god. That doesn't work when you repeat it like that. Oh, uh... Your deputy died well, if I succeed. I guess succeed. you're gonna have to. I suggest talking to those NCR troopers across the bridge. I also overheard the Potter gangsters talking about. What about Prim Slim? Could he well, be a sheriff? Well, I guess I never thought of that. I guess he could be sheriff. If you. Okay. Um. I'll find Prim a new Finally sheriff. Finally decided to make yourself useful, huh? If you can bring the law back to Prim. <laughs> All right, and. Goodbye. Hello there. Hello, gay penne pasta. Howdy. 
All right, you guys ready to meet the most important character? Where is he? Most important character in this town. Where is he? Gay Penny Senna. Oh my god, that's a good one. Oh, the ginger and uh, ginger and hogs are gonna find out about why that one's funny. <gasps> oh, exciting! Oh, that's so cool. Thank you, Mar, for the bits. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Really, it's very kind of you. This is, this is making my whole ass day. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna have emotions. No one, no one uh, noticed that I'm having emotions. Where the fuck is he? I can hear him. Oh, there he is. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Okay, I know this is a really bad idea, but I'm already oh, no. here, so here we fucking go. Oh, no. There's a cupcake one? Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Mar. Hey, I love Epic Sax Guy, too. Gainamo, old game. Oh my god. Um, Aki Hobbs is actually working at uh, a venue in Final Fantasy. Uh, Aki works at a um, uh, nightclub. Science 30, reprogram. Law enforcement Stop. protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw! Goodbye. Happy trails. Hey, we leveled up. Nice. Oh my god, we leveled up. There's a hype train. Everyone's everyone's throwing gay bits at me and regular bits. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh my god. So blessed. <sighs> Seriously, thank you all so much. I... It's a gay bond, gay philia, gay stola. Aw, oh, thank you, Ginger. Hey. All right, we need more lockpick. Uh, and we should get a perk. Retention, swift learner, cannibal, comprehension. Oh, comprehension is the one we want because now we can get double skill points from books. So, gotta have that one. Rogaine. Aw, oh, Scald, why you gotta do me like that? Aw, oh, rude. Galen's eight. Hey, thank you, Mar. Thanks for the sub. Oh my god, you guys are just... Thank you so much. Ah, oh, Gay Polima. Oh good, now I'm sad and everything. Alright, quest complete. We did everything. I need a shop really bad. Gay Taru, Gay Ru. Oh! Ooh. Uh, examine the electronics. A few primary electronic systems seem to be fully functional, and the redundant systems are all working. If you bypass some of the primary systems, the secondary system should compensate and make some of the repairs easier. Uh, run the bypass. The redundant systems compensating for the damage primary circuitry. Many of the gyroscopes begin spinning. The repair it doesn't look like it'll be too complicated. Repair with parts. Uh, we need three pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. Okay. Try to fix it without the parts? No. So, scrap metal. We'll just steal a bit of that. What other parts do we need? We, got, we need one more piece of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. The stream started with a 12-year-old trying to ruin it. I mean, I don't think he was trying to ruin it. I think he was just, you know, he just saw someone playing a game he liked and wanted to see it. And then he did the same thing we all do when we see a notification pop up that says, uh, do, are you of an age to do this thing you want to do? He said yes. Just like all of us have been doing since the dawn of fucking time. Programmer's Digest, fixing things, nice. Empty foot locker, nice. Uh, bottle caps. Bunch of ammunition I'm gonna want. 
Oh, uh, he just walked in, Nick, and and was just, you know, being a kid, and we're like, uh, sorry, kid, this ain't the place for you. It wasn't, uh, you know what, I, I need 35 in repair. How much do I have? 30. So I can do this. Uh, I'm going to drop the heavy-ass scrap, scrap metal I just picked up, and I'm going to use fixing things, which now gives me 20 skill instead of 10. Try to fix it. Yeah. Done. Beep, boop, beep, 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 beep. Companion protocol, begin. ED has given us enhanced sensors. Nice. Let me access your multi-tools. I want to make something. Um, a belt. I don't know what that does. Oh, it makes 15 leather belts. Okay. Uh, I'd like to make some ammo. Oh, so he's like having a, uh, a walking, like, uh, uh, a walking crafting bench with me. That's awesome. Hobbs, Jesus Hobbs, that's a that's a harsh take. Hey Ruby. Howdy. Hello there. I literally just saved your life. Time for me to go. Goodbye. You used to be a, a children. Wait, what? Really? Why didn't you tell me? That's, I really wish I'd have known that before. Okay, we need some, we need some H2O, and we also need some sleep. All right, uh, let's see. We got lots of Sunset Sarsaparillas, don't we? And I think those, no, those actually dehydrate you. Right, very good. Um, do we have anything that hydrates you? Purified water will. You've always been a 38-year-old man. What? Oh, thank you, Skull. Appreciate it. Cheers. Oh, thank you, Hobbs. Appreciate it. Cheers. Sweet beat wants your meat. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Sweat beat wants your meat. That was hard to drink through. I don't want Sweat Pete to want my meat. Uh, no thank you, in fact. Wait, is that place a shop at night? Sweet Sweat Pete. Uh, uh. Nine millimeter submachine gun preserved in the glass case to the left of this plaque is the actual weapon Vance carried in a paper wrap box under some suitcases in the trunk of his car during his and Vicky's crime spree. Never fired and luckily untouched by the hail of bullets that ended the notorious owner's life, the weapon's mint condition inspired dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun, so long as his aim was exact and was starting off with a full clip, or even more if he had additional ammo clips and remember to reload. It's, uh... It's been smashed and stolen. He wants to give you his sweet peat meat. Uh, 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 I hate that. Oh, I hate that so much. Oh, fuck. Sweet tea peat. Uh. Oh, no, Mar. Mar has been waiting. Uh, I hate... I, I'm so scared whenever I see someone post like, Oh, I've been holding on to these points for a long time. Wait, you redeemed a question? Hang on, let me look at my thing. Oh! Oh god, no, Mar! Um, I can't possibly be a vampire because, um, I can't carry things very well in this video game. Uh, so... No, that's not a good one. Ah, shit, shit. Um, oh, 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 I'm not a vampire because... Hang on, hang on. 
Uh, I'm not a vampire because I'm actually, uh, because I'm 32 years old and vampires aren't young. They're all super old. There you go. Yeah, that's the one. I'm gonna give a lot of my shit over here. <laughs> the jig is the jig is not up. No, it's not. That's not how this works. You can't just say, uh, no, uh, vampires are real and get away with it. Uh-uh. Not, not at all how this works. Uh, you have to prove it. Unless you're, wait. You've read about young vampires? Yeah, no, they look young, but they're actually like 500 years old, right? So that doesn't count. Uh, they're, they're still old. There's an entire movie franchise about vampires in high school? Yeah, but again, crucially, they are still old. They just look young. That's the thing. No one saw me take that, so it doesn't count. Uh, I, how's my karma? It, uh, it feels like it might be in the dumpster. Uh... No idea. All right, continue. Yay, I can pick this lock. Yeah, exactly. All vampires look uh, young, which is why I can't possibly be one. How long have I been 32? Um, for less than one year. Less than one year, yeah. What's this? Ooh, a submachine gun. I'm making so many negative karmas. Look at me go. You're doing great and terrible things here, apparently. 12 gauge rounds? Oh, you love to see it. 10 millimeter rounds? This place really shouldn't have. Free money? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, actually, Edward Cullen was indeed a fae. He was not actually a vampire. Uh, real vampires don't, uh, don't sparkle in daylight. The sun is actually blessed. Uh, it represents holiness, light, and health, and therefore, uh, vampires have a severe reaction to it. <laughs> yeah, who would choose to look like this? Exactly. <laughs> Who would want to be like this? Uh, anyway. Uh. More like a Nosferatu. Okay, Mar, I don't know what to tell you. I've given you 1.5 good excuses. If you're, if you're not, uh, gonna accept Welcome them, back. there's good nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do about it. The only safe place against vampires is in Africa? Fucking Toto. Motherfucker. Also, do you know it was a really weird time? Uh, a long, long time ago, when, before the whole Christianity thing, when all of a sudden all of the vampires all over the world were like, why am I terrified of math now? Uh, okay, where am I going now? So, let's see. Oh, I know where I'm going. Uh, yeah, exactly. I need to head south. But... We should maybe go to the correctional facility and solve that. Nah, I don't know. Guys, I think... I think it is gonna be time for me to call it there. Uh, I will be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to do more of this. And then, of course, on Saturday, I'll be here in the evening. Uh, I appreciate you all very, very much. This was a hell of a stream for me. You guys are awesome. And uh, I, I, I feel very blessed to have you here. I know you guys are mad that I'm ending it, but I am dead tired. Uh... <laughs> You guys are so great. Thank you all so much. Guys, if you haven't already, please check out the Fightin' Gingers channel and, of course, Cutscenes and Cupcakes. Uh, Cutscenes Pod. 
great friends of mine, awesome streamers. Please go give them a, a, a follow and, and all that. And, uh, yeah, I will be back. Yeah, look at that. Fighting Ginger was playing Final Fantasy. That was such a good stream, man. Anyway, uh, I'll be back tomorrow, like I said. And until next time, everyone. Bibbles.